Okay, hi everybody in the Evolution of Jazz class. This is your professor, Danny Gottlieb. I'm here with one of my best friends, Kurt Garrison, who's the trumpet player in the Lieutenant Dan Band. We're backstage before a concert, and I asked Kurt just to talk about what, how does the trumpet work, and what's the difference between a trumpet and a cornet. Okay, this is a trumpet. In order to make sound on the trumpet, I buzz my lips into this little mouthpiece here to get a, get a tone. It sounds a lot better with the horn on. And so I change my notes two different ways. I buzz my lips faster and slower to get higher and lower notes. That's one way to change. So I can do like a bugle call. Then I can change the horn, the size of the instrument, the length of the instrument by pushing down the pistons. And as I add more tubing to the instrument, the pitch goes down. Where's the horse? <laughs> Wait. Where's the horses? <laughs> that was scary. So, okay. So <laughs> as, as I add more tubing to the instrument and blow faster and slower, it makes the instrument go higher and lower. And that's how you play the trumpet. The thing's about four feet long. The cornet is a different instrument and was used more in early jazz. And the difference between the cornet and the trumpet is the trumpet is called a cylindrical board instrument. In other words, it's basically the same diameter all the way through here until you finally get to the last section of the horn and then it flares out and gets bigger so it has a more compressed sound. The cornet, after you get past this little section called the lead pipe, it's the, the, the uh, tubing is bent a little differently and it gradually gets bigger all the way to the end. Now an extended or an extended version or maybe an expanded version of the cornet would be the flugelhorn and if you've seen anything, any footage of like Chuck Mangione or something like that playing the flugelhorn, that's even expanded even more. They're all about four feet long if they're a B-flat instrument and that's the difference between the trumpet, the cornet, and if you want to add even more, the flugelhorn. Great. Thank you, Kirk. You're welcome. How's that? <laughs>